Hey there, folks. Welcome back. It's AK. Welcome back to my uh, survival. Let's play Biomes of Plenty Minecraft doohickey. Yes, here we are at a very interesting spot. We have found, well, I'm standing in grassland right now, but behind me, the biomes marker says sacred, was it sacred forest? Sacred Springs. It says sacred springs. And I have never seen this kind of thing before, but dude, it's so cool. And I kind of want to build a little house here. You know, I kind of want to make like a little temporary sort of, you know, doohickey. And I also really, 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 really want to see, I'm going to go ahead and make a chest. I really want to see what these saplings are they're dropping. Because when I go up to this tree, it says sacred oak wood. So I want to know, are they sacred oak wood saplings or are they just oak saplings? Because if they're sacred oak wood saplings, that's the bomb. So let's offload some stuff. Don't need this stuff for right now. I need my meat. But I'm saving, I was saving that palm wood to do some cool building with. But uh, it's so cool um, that I found this sacred oak trees uh, that, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Those are my palm saplings, which are totally cool. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just, I am going to come back for that glass in just a minute when I go to build my house. But for now, just in case, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's go see. These saplings are sacred oak saplings. Dude, I'm going to have to look that one up in the FT, in the, uh, Biomes of Plenty Wiki, because I'll bet you that there's something cool with that. Like if you can, oh, dude, they're just so cool looking. I was going to build a little house in the, in the ground, but now I'm thinking, man, maybe I should build some kind of tree house, you know? Because these things are crazy cool looking. Um, yeah, I could build a tree house. And if I do, I'm probably going to build it off of this one right over here. Because it's the highest one up. I'm thinking I need to keep lighting this place up though because in case you missed the last episode I had some interesting fights with uh, some interesting skellies and stuff because uh, this place is dark and mobs like to spawn so here's an option I could do the treehouse thing I could also do something in this I just noticed. Let's get up around the other side of it. Oh, another sacred tree. I feel like I'm in uh, Avatar. Blue people, not Airbender. You know, blue people Avatar. Oh, that's one of those cool flower thingies. Anyways, that's a cool look. Look at that, dude. Look at that killer tree. Oh my gosh, you could totally just like replace that stone stuff right there and build out a sweet tree house. Oh my gosh, you totally could. Wow, that's cool. I kind of like that idea. And then you're over in that one, and your view is kind of of those, unless for that big old chunk of column of stone is in the way, of course. But, um, you know, you get the idea. The other option is, of course, to build in one of those over there. And then you kind of look out that way. You know what? I want to build in that one because then I get a view over there. That's what I'm doing. I'm building in that tree. And so I all these will be like in my backyard. And um, I will have a view of all that coolness over there. So let's go take a look at this tree. Let's go take a look at this tree. Do not fear if, you know, most of the building that I do with this thing, I will most likely do off camera um, simply because, I, man, this thing is so cool looking. Um, simply because, you know, a lot of building sometimes is just, uh, you know, it's a lot of, you know, place a block, get rid of a block, place a block, rethink that one. Yeah, that's a cool view, you know, so, and, and I know that, you know, I know a lot of building is like that. So, thanks for the feathers. Yes, and the food. Oh, hello. What's up? Yeah, that's what's up. Hey. There we go. 
Yeah, wow. Sorry, I know I'm looking around a lot, but man, this stuff is just cool looking. Yeah, see, so from over here, I would be able to see those things, and I would have this kind of a view from this direction. And then when I get over to the other side, I'm going to have a view, I'm going to have a crazy view all over there. Now, I wonder, I almost feel like I should jump over to the Biomes of Plenty wiki real quick and just see, like, if I build in a sacred oak wood, does that mean I become evil or something? Um, you know what? Actually, I want to go look real quick. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and looked it up in the wiki. And uh, there's nothing to, you know, there's nothing like I'm not going to die. Um, if I start digging in these things, um, it actually, um, it's actually kind of cool. There's, uh, I just got to figure out how I want to get up there. You know, I think I might get up there the kind of simple way um, with dirt. Yep. So uh, it did talk about the darker grass and it talked about how stuff can spawn, um, but actually said that the, uh, oh, here we are. It actually said that a lot of things don't necessarily spawn here because uh, if you're playing with fancy graphics, the, um, the, uh, Sorry, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. If you're playing on fancy, the leaves are actually translucent, so things won't spawn. But cave spiders and all kinds of that stuff can spawn. Or jungle spiders, it said. Sorry, it said jungle spiders. Maybe that's a new Biomes of Plenty thing, too, because I haven't heard of jungle spiders. Um, but... But, yeah, they're totally cool. They said they do drop oak saplings. Um... And uh, that's not very helpful. Yeah, so they can drop, drop oak saplings, and sometimes they'll drop the jungle oak saplings, or excuse me, the sacred oak saplings, which grow the giant trees, which is what we're in right now. Um, and which is, I already picked up a sacred oak sapling, as you saw earlier. So, um, so we're good. I'm just going to lay this down with some dirt at the moment simply because I don't think this is really the what's in the tree. I think the tree is over this way. Um, but you know what? These leaves are so cool. I think I'm going to grab some with my sh trusty shears. Whew, look at that thing go. Look at that thing fly. And I think, yeah, I need to stop doing that. Uh, I'm not going to need a shovel right now. But I might need the bow because you never know what's going to pop out. So, um, yeah, did I get, I got another sacred oak sapling. Dude, it's so cool. So, yeah, I would say I'm, I'm completely in the wood here, which is pretty cool. So, um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pause it because you're probably thinking, you know, I don't really want to just watch you dig through a bunch of wood. So, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to dig through a bunch of wood, and uh, when I pop out the other side, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. So I'll either cut or I'll time lapse. All righty.
Okay, so uh, go ahead and grab that sapling if I can. So um, I have dug through to the other side, as you saw. And um, basically, yeah, all this is just tree. And here we are on the other side. Hopefully nothing is going to spawn on me out here. Um, I'm a little, I guess torches don't really burn stuff up. Otherwise you couldn't build a wooden house with a torch in it. But man, look at this. Look how cool that is. Big old lava fall. Got a, oh, this is just the coolest. Floating islands up in the sky. Dude, this thing is just cool. And look at how big this thing is. One, two, three. If I didn't get lag, I would have had a decent count. Anyways, and down we go and all the way over here to where I climbed up the first time. Or pillared up, I should say. But man, this is so cool, dude. This is so cool. I'm really, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So, um, I'm probably going to uh, keep on just, shuho. Probably going to keep on doing this sort of thing. Just like shear some stuff out. Find some places to put some things. And uh, just kind of figure out how to, how to build in this kind of space. Um, one thing I have not tried which I will probably do in just a minute is, um, you know, and actually if you're curious about this, you might want to actually see this. So um, let's go ahead and slap down a crafting table, which I do not have because I keep making crafting tables and leaving them. I left all those other ones next to the other chest over there. So let's go ahead and slap down a crafting table. Let's take some of this. Oh yeah, d sacred oak wood. Yes, I had to cut through... Man, I cut through 48 sacred oak wood? Go figure. Wow. I just... I want to see what this is going to be like. You know what I'm saying? I'm just serious. Well, those are going to be sticks. So, but let's go ahead and lay one of these things down. See what it looks like. See what it does. Ooh, it is a little different than a typical oak, isn't it? Yeah, I do want to pick up those leaf blocks, but I also, I was just about to say, I don't really want to fall too far either. So sorry. Okay, let me uh, get my dirt back on my bar. I kind of feel like Tarzan. You know, when I was a kid, Tarzan was an, I used to love that uh, animated TV series. It was totally cool. And then I read the book, the Edgar Rice Burroughs book. Man, it's a whole different world. They tried making that Greystoke movie with uh, the dude from Highlander. I'm blanking on his name. Sorry, y'all. I'm totally blanking on his name. But, you know, they tried to make a movie, and it was okay. It was, you know, it kind of was what it was. But, um, you know, it was okay. But the book was honestly one of the best books that I had read up to that age. So I highly recommend it. If you're a book kind of a gut person, if you like Tarzan, um, I would say go for it. So, yeah, this wood is really cool looking. I am really liking this. So I think what I'm going to need to do is um, hollow out enough space to make a really cool kind of a house. Uh, it is laggy, though. It's almost as laggy. For me, it's almost as laggy as when I'm in the jungle. Um, so, yeah, and I'm not one of those people with, you know, like the massive gaming PC and all that stuff. I, um, you know, I'm on a Mac. I'm on an iMac. It's a good one. It's a sweet computer. I love the thing. Um, but you know, I read about these people with their gaming PCs and all kinds of specs and I have no idea what they're talking about. And I'm like, you know what? You guys probably run everything without any lag ever. But for me, jungles have problems. So this might be somewhat of a problematic place to build because of that. Um, but you know what? I'm willing to risk it because I don't think I've ever found anything this cool. And this for me is what the biomes of plenty experience is supposed to be all about. It's supposed to be finding stuff that is just totally cool that you never see anywhere else 
that just, you know, just takes your, you know, just rocks your socks. It's like, this is the coolest thing. I mean, look at this. I'm just like carving rooms out of this ginormous tree. And it's so cool. I mean, I'm going to have so much wood, I'm not going to know what to do with it. It's great. And uh, I'm going to build a, oh, my plan here is to build a cool house, a totally cool tree house. And um, yeah, and we'll see what happens. So since I've still got some time left in this episode, um, what I'll do, oh, I'm getting to the other side, aren't I? Let's take a look. Yeah, it's still nighttime, though. Check that out. My hunger hasn't gone down and the sun hasn't moved. I'll tell you what. Well, let's torch this up in case anything feels like spawning. We can maybe discourage it. Wow. Cool. What a cool spot, dude. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This is very cool. I still need to figure out how I'm going to build in it and exactly what I'm going to do. But um, let me get a little bit of more uh, work done, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I got. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's where I've come to. Uh, here's where I came up originally. As you remember, there's my pillar up and my view to that side. And I'll show you what I've done so far before we go ahead and end this episode. Uh, made a little bit of a deck. This is, of course, Sacred Oak Wood Planks, which is really cool stuff. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with a lot of these little, you know, areas. Um, but so far, basically, I'm, you know, I might dig out a little something down here. Eh, I'm not sure. It looks cool. I'm just not really sure, you know, quite yet what I want to do with it. Um, but I do have that area down there, and I have this little sort of patio-ish area. Made some stairs. Sacred Oakwood stairs, of course. Uh, this is sort of the main room, the main entry place um, that I started to hollow out. And essentially, this just kind of does one of these. And then I started to flatten out this kind of area. This is, of course, the view um, to the east. So I like to be able to see the sun when it comes up. Um, and not to mention the fact that this is a totally cool view from up here of those really cool uh, waters and everything. So um, actually, sorry, that's the sun going down. That's the west. So that's my sunset view. So this might be like a little deck where I watch the sunset from, something along those lines. And then over here, I went ahead and started again, just some stairs um, to build something to take advantage of this view over here, which with that lava fall is just, and waterfall right behind it is just totally epic. This is just the coolest of views. So I will definitely put something over here. Um, you know, just basically haven't got to it yet. Just put some stairs up. Figured I'd try a door, you know, see what a door does uh, for now. And then I start, when I was digging all this part out over here, I realized that this actually, uh, hello, I realized that this went up. So I made some ladders because I got enough wood. And uh, here's the first level. You can kind of check this out. Um, oops. Hey. First level kind of comes out here. Got a little something, something, not really, maybe a closet. I don't know. I don't know what this is. And then on the other side, we have this area here, which right now is just kind of a leaf room, but it has potential. You know, it has potential. And then we go up just a little bit more, and we have this cool room. Now, some of this, not any of this wood, um, all this wood is, is naturally here. Um, you know, some of this wood I have put into place. Uh, most of it I have not, but speaking of putting wood in place, let's go ahead and do some of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and torch that up just in case. So uh, I made this little area over here, which again, facing the west and facing the west, south, facing the southwest, you know, has some potential. It's kind of a cool little spot. Um, and then, do I still have my, yeah, I have my bed on me. I should set my spawn and stuff. But then, if you keep going up, you can see up here, I've done nothing. So I'm going to put a torch up here. But basically, it comes up to the roof, to the canopy, you know, the canopy of the whole thing. And I can look across and I can see those cool trees over there. And I'm pretty darn close 
to the clouds. Let's see what my Y value is. Y119, yeah, I'm like nine blocks away from the clouds. So uh, let's head on down. I think, and I'm gonna, I was thinking bedroom might be kind of cool up here. But, you know, there's so many cool little uh, nooks and crannies, so many cool little corners um, that could serve as a good bedroom, you know? And it's not like I'm really going to spend a whole lot of time. Whoa. Not like I'm going to spend a whole lot of time in the quote-unquote bedroom anyways. It's just a, really a place to set spawn. So I know I don't want to do it down here um, unless I did it over here. This seems like more of a work area, more of kind of a living room sort of thing. So let's put the bed up here, and then we'll finish off the finish off the episode. Let's do it in the second level. Ah, oh, the rain. And the rain's going to come down through that hole, of course. Yep. Okay, so I'm thinking... I am curious to see, too, if this rain uh, creates any issues with... I haven't really had too many issues. I had a little bit up top. Um, issues with leaves despawning. Uh, just spontaneous leaf blocks just kind of disappearing. Um, you know, that might happen as we go. Um, but I haven't really seen too much of it yet. I'm thinking this right here looks like a very cool place to put a bed. So let's go and put my bed there. And yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll pimp this place out later. I'll get a chest over here and I'll do all kinds of things to it, you know. But for now, I think it's a good, whoops, it's not what I meant to do. I meant to eat a little something before I sign off. And, um, yeah. So, we'll sign off from here in this epic sacred oak tree treehouse that's unlike any treehouse I've ever built before. I'm so pleased. I think this is the coolest setting. So, uh, my hope is to build this thing out a bit more and then explore the area. Go check out those lava falls and all those floating islands and all that kind of stuff and, and just get into this whole thing even more. I think this is great. So, thank you so much. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. Subscribes are always cool. Comments are great. I really appreciate it. I've had some fantastic comments from people. Very encouraging stuff. And I uh, just want to say thanks. And, um, you know, bow. Uh, you know, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.